Two people have been sentenced for stealing thousands of dollars in survival equipment from a doomsday castle in the upstate. Our Alan Devlin has the latest on the case and an inside look at the castle that was once thought to be impenetrable. A doomsday castle in Pickens County built by a man in preparation for the end of the world. This will be the main living floor here. High in the mountains of northern Pickens County, a castle waits for Armageddon. Got rebar over the windows and all, just kind of make it a little safer. You know. Fortified with sheet metal windows. We can raise it up and it drops down just instantly. A fully functional medieval time style gate. This is one of the small bedrooms here. Got a bathroom and utility room out there. And downstairs, multiple bedrooms, power, running water, and... This is the main kitchen area. A full kitchen and kitchen enough area. food to feed a family for years. And then times and all of the doomsday things, it's, it's stuff that you might come in handy, might need, and might not, you know. They... But back in 2018... They broke the door off of here. Two people broke into what was thought to be an impenetrable fortress and stole what the owner and groundskeeper says was fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in survival gear. A four wheeler and a few other generators and a few first one thing another. And on Wednesday, Michael Barger and Ashton Johnson were sentenced to four years probation and ten thousand dollars in restitution and civil judgments for storming the castle. We just felt that uh, it was literally bulletproof. We didn't think anybody could get in because uh, I, I put enough stuff in there to make sure they had to go through double entry doors, but they still found out how to do it, and I found out where my weaknesses are. They cut these locks and damaged all the doors. And now, Bruns and Herring working to replace what they've lost, preparing for the end of the world. We have put added sec uh, security cameras and all, and a few other safety features, and if something comes up, we can automatically come up here and take care of it. In Pickens County, Alan Devlin, WIFF News 4.